Hi, this is Ralph Wildman and my friend Matt. We're going to be here talking to you today about the Thermotrope, an early, early optical device. And let's look at one right now. This is a Thermotrope disc, and basically it was a, it's a two-sided disc, a picture on one side and a picture on the other. And it, it is like one side is a vase and the other side is flowers. And when you twirl it and see it over and over again, it, it looks like flowers in a vase. A very simple idea. Thermotrope was invented in 1825. Uh, that makes it almost 200 years old. Matt, who was president in 1825? Um, John Quincy Adams. Right, very good. Now this, is a, this is a very old device and John Quincy Adams, probably children, got one of these for Christmas. A box of thermotropes. Now, you want to try it? Okay, here's one for you. I'll do one too. You wind yours up, I'll wind mine up. Hold it by the string, very good. And then just turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it. Got it? And then stop and pull. And what happens? Oh, it's like an image comes. What, what was your image? Um, a person trying to catch a wild pig. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> did he catch him? Um, yeah. Looks like he did, didn't <laughs> Okay. Well, the reason that happens is because if you look at one side and the other side in rapid motion, they become one picture. So he did catch the pig. And that's called the persistence of vision because if you look at one picture and then take it away and then show another picture, you hold this picture for one eighth of a second. And that allows you to connect that picture to this picture. And if you see it very rapidly, they, they fuse and become one picture. You got that? Yeah. So that's about the same thing that happens in a motion picture house. When you go to see a movie, you see 24 frames 24 pictures every second. Hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, it's very difficult. But nevertheless, that's what gives us the illusion of motion. Uh, you think you'd like to make one? Yeah. Okay, let's start. Very good. So that's the thermotrope. It's uh, an example of the persistence of vision and it's the phenomenon behind all the modern media.